We are the University of California Museum of Paleontology, the UCMP. If you're watching this video, you must love dinosaurs as much as we do. The mission of the UCMP is to investigate and promote the understanding of the history of life and the Earth's biota through research and education. UCMP holds nearly 5 million fossils, the largest collection of fossils associated with a public university. These include fossil plants, invertebrates, microfossils, fossil vertebrates, and of course, dinosaurs. And now we are really excited to add to our exhibits. Please help us make the first ever see-through dinosaur skull. So these are the original bones, the original fossils of our baby Triceratops skull. You can make up the, make out the bony shield or frill that covers the neck and the tiny little horns of the smallest and presumably youngest Triceratops skull that's ever been found. So I'm holding in my hands the rostral or beak of Triceratops. If you have one of these bones, then you're a ceratopsid or horned dinosaur. This is the diagnostic character that defines the group. Um, in life, it was covered with a hard uh, material like your fingernails. And in this hand is a 3D printed cast showing the robust vessel network that nourished the bone as these animals grew up and as the bone also changed shape and size as the animals got older. And what we want to do is CT scan all the individual bones of the baby Triceratops skull and produce this see-through, clear 3D print of the fossil. Now, we don't know what we're going to find, but with your help and your support, we'll be able to CT scan all the individual bones of our baby Triceratops skull, then using medical imaging software, do what we call volume renderings, and that allows us to make the 3D printed models of the inside of the fossil, showing the morphology of both the outside and the inside, like you see here. This is the fossil, and this is the 3D see-through beak. With your support, we're going to make the first see-through Triceratops skull ever. And we're going to put it on display with the current growth series of Triceratops in the Marion Koshland Biosciences Library in the Valley Life Sciences Building just above the Museum of Paleontology on the UC Berkeley campus. And thank you so much for your support.